Hi, my name is Scott Dalgleish with Phase 4 Engineering. I am very pleased to present our updated Sense Tag, which is a 13.56 megahertz RFID temperature tag, and it is focused on the food safety market. We have recently made several improvements in this tag that we wanted to demonstrate in a video, and that's what we're going to be doing for the next several minutes. Um, the, one of the key features that I want to point out about the Phase 4 Sense Tag is, as you can see, there's absolutely no battery. This is a pure passive tag. So everything you see during this video will be done uh, with no battery. And as you'll see, the performance of our tag, even with no battery, is excellent compared to anything else out there and will always stay that way because you'll never have to worry about a battery dying or changing the performance of the tag. So we'll just do a real quick um, demonstration here. Uh, but before we do that, um, the other thing I want to point out is that the Sense Tag uses um, standard RFID uh, commands, ISO 15693 to be exact. So you can use different readers to read the tag. And that's a real advantage. Uh, it's just a simple read command that is used to uh, decipher the temperature out of the tag. And in addition to that, uh, like our name implies, Phase 4 Engineering, we're very open to doing custom uh, features. So if you wanted to password protect the tag, we could do that too. Um, we'll do just a quick demonstration of reading the tag right now. And uh, we'll turn this reader on. And right there with the Scion reader, I'm holding it about an inch and a half away. And as you can see, we're reading the tag quite well. And the Scion reader is a little bit more powerful than the other reader that we use. Um, the other reader that we do a lot of testing with is the WebDT reader. And uh, you can see it's operating quite well. And um, this uh, WebDT reader has a little bit weaker uh, RFID field with it. So that's what we're going to do our demonstrations with, which is kind of a worst case scenario. So just real quickly to determine the, to show the performance of our tag, um, we have uh, seven pieces of plexiglass that are a tenth of an inch thick. And uh, we can very reliably read um, at that distance. There we go. And we have in different versions of this tag, we can read at even farther distances, but what we find in grocery stores and other places is typically the reader is put right down on the tag. So that, that read range is um, not super critical. And the other thing that we've done that we'll demonstrate in just a minute on the video is we've optimized the performance of the tag at very low temperatures. And um, that's the main feature that we're going to be showing in the later part of the video. So the first demonstration we're doing on the new improved temperature sensing sense tag for the food safety market is a demonstration of a phenomenon called self-heating. That is a, a common uh, complaint or feedback that we get from the field that as a reader is used to read a tag like this, it will heat up over time. And we're going to demonstrate and explain that phenomenon and show what phase four has done to improve it. So first we're going to demonstrate that phenomenon to put a tag in a situation like it might be in a freezer or refrigerator where it's hanging with space behind it. And then we're going to create an air gap between the tag and the reader because the reader can also, um, because the reader is warmer than the air just from it being an electronic device, we want to try to isolate the heat from this reader as much as we can from being put into the tag. So I'm now going to put this reader on and read for 30 seconds. And the phenomenon of self-heating comes from the fact that we are injecting radio frequency energy into the tag to uh, energize the temperature circuit and transmit the reading back. And that energy tends to um, migrate over to the temperature sensor and heat it up also. So now we're at 23.7 and when we take a new reading on this tag it's gone up to 24.7. That's one whole degree even though the reader is roughly a half an inch away from the tag. 
and that is can be problems can cause problems in um, in supermarkets and other places where these tags are deployed because you can get a false but believable reading that the temperature is actually higher than it really is if the reader is held on the tag for a while. So now we're going to show the new and improved uh, phase four sense tag. We're going to set up the test exactly the same. And what we've done with the phase four tag is we have moved the temperature sensor away from the part of the circuit that converts radio frequency energy into electricity that tends to heat up. So the effect is much, much less on the new phase four sense tag than on most other RFID sensors. So we're approaching uh, 30 seconds here and when I'm going to pull off the reader and we'll take a new reading, 23.5 to 23.9. So a few tenths of a degree increase, uh, but nothing like um, what you will see with other tags, especially when the reader is placed directly on the tag. So now that we've completed our uh, self-heating demonstration, we're now going to uh, show some other new features of the, of the Phase 4 Sense tag in a cold or freezer environment. All right, now we're in the phase four kitchen for a simulated uh, freezer demonstration. And uh, we're going to open up the door of the freezer and show the unique features of the sense tag that is customized for the food safety market. And we're gonna show things with um, the sense tag that can be done with other tags. So first we're gonna show real quickly the freezer isn't exactly the uh, most controlled um, precise environment, but we're at about negative 20 degrees C right now. And I'm going to open up the door and we're going to take uh, a bunch of temperatures in uh, very challenging environments. So here we go. So right now we're right up against metal and we are reading a tag right up against a metal surface. We're one inth, eighth of an inch away. Now we're going to read a tag on a metal Great, and that is working properly. Now we're going to read a metal in a, a tag in a holder. That reads just fine. Now we're going to read a competitor's tag, and we cannot read it. N A N stands for not a number. That means that the reader cannot read the tag. And that is consistent with the complaints that we hear from customers. We'll go back to our metal mount tag. Now I should point out, as you can see on the sticker right here, this is a tag that we've designed specially for metal mounting. And it has just some adhesive strips on the back of it that are less than an eighth of an inch. So that lets it keep really nice thermal contact with the metal surface as we go to read it. And we'll go back up here to the wire shelf. And things are starting to warm up now as we've got the freezer door open. There we go on the side mounted one. And we'll go back to a different tag. And now what we're finding is at about 15 degrees Celsius, these other tags will start working. With our focus in the food safety market, we've also come up with a new extension to the SenseTag product line which is a food probe that can be read with the same RFID reader. Uh, this is a prototype and we're still in development and I'll talk about some future features for it. But for now, I wanna do a quick demonstration. I have some hot water right now and I'm gonna do a read. And there's the hot water in degrees Celsius. And we'll now move it over to the cold water and do a quick read of that. So the idea is with this one probe, you can use the same device, the same handheld reader to put the probe in meat or deli counter uh, items or whatever and have the data collection done all by the same reader. Now, the extension of this product that we're working on right now is when we talk to people that were using these products, the issue was this stabilizing in temperature. 
and knowing when is the right time to take the reading. So the feature that we're going to be adding is we're actually going to be putting a small microprocessor and LED in here and it will blink red while it's coming up to temperature and you'll be able to see it blinking through this translucent white plastic. And once it's up and stabilized at the right temperature, it'll turn green for maybe 10 or 15 seconds. Then you can come up, take your reading, and move on. So that makes the process of auditing um, using one of these probes much faster also. So in addition to our sense tag that is targeted on the food safety market, there are several variations of this that we can customize for different applications. For example, in food safety or in the medical industry, we have a similar version of this tag with a tethered sensor that allows you to put the tag in one place where it will be red and the sensor in another. And this way we can also measure high temperature. Uh, other form factors that we have, we can make much smaller tags. We have made key fob tags and we can make probes. Uh, that can be either passive or uh, a data logger. And we can sense a lot more than just um, temperature. We can sense strain, as shown here, and also pressure, and many other things. So if you have a special sensing problem, we hope that you send us an email or call us, and we'll walk you through how we can solve your particular sensing issue. Thanks for watching our video.